Throughout the years on this channel, I have shown you how to detail a variety of different cars. This video is a little bit different. This is for all my bearded brothers out there. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to detail your beard. If you're not maintaining your beard, I hate to be the one to tell you this, but an overgrown beard kind of makes you look like a bum. I know for myself, when my sideburns get too long, they start tickling my ears, or my mustache gets too long and it's interfering when I'm eating, it's time for a trim. Having different beard styles is part of the fun of having a beard. I encourage you to change it up every once in a while. Your first step before the trim is actually to wash the beard, and I recommend using a dedicated beard wash this is not gonna strip any of the oils out of your beard. It's gonna keep it looking healthy and strong. After you've washed your beard, you need to brush it out. A little secret of mine, mine's a little thicker and bushier. I use a blow dryer and I blow it out and I actually brush it at the same time. And it seems to leave the beard a little straighter and not as poofy. You can brush it out, you can use a comb here. I'm just gonna brush it out. And on the sides here, before we start trimming, this is gonna be the first part. I'm gonna trim the sides here. I'm just gonna pull it out just a little bit with my brush, you can see that. You can see how long it is on that side. And I'll pull it out just a little bit like that so we have Kind of like wings almost. <laughs> then with your razor, we're actually gonna shave straight down here with the razor angled this way. You don't wanna go up this way, it's a little risky. So we're just gonna take a little bit off at a time and we're gonna start doing that. And then to the front. Uh, we're just doing a detail here. I don't want to take too much off here, so just get all those crazy hairs that are sticking out just a little too far. The next part is the bottom, which is called the shelf. And you want kind of a straight line. It's been a while since I've done this, so you can see it's kind of overgrown. So what you want to do is you want to tilt your head back. And with the razor, we're going to go straight back here should be a straight line all the way to your Adam's apple. And I'm not gonna take off any off the front here, but you can see the back here. You want that kind of lined up with your jawline so it looks natural from the sides. Show you how to do it. And then brush it out and make sure there's no after you brush it out you can see kind of I get some longer ones there next is this side this jawline here we need to fix that you saw a lot of undergrowth that I took away there it's been a while since I've done this so next part is going to be this side here we're gonna shape this you see I got a little bit of extra going there so what I like to do is kind of pull my head to the side and then kind of pull all the hair out just just a little bit there and you can kind of see this extra and I'm just gonna shape it just a little bit with the jawline so I'll take this and I have that extra there. And I'll come to the outside and you can kind of see where my line is on the sideburn there. I'm just gonna go straight down and call that extra off. Brush it out and it should be right into you with your shelf there. Very nice. Now do the other side. As you're going, you want to make sure everything is even. The next area is your cheek line. You can see that I have some overgrowth up on the cheek and this will depend on the person. Sometimes you have a little more, sometimes you have a little less. But anyways, you want to basically from the middle of the ear, to the lip line here, you want kind of either a straight line 
or a little bit of curved line in there, uh, depending on your face shape. I usually do try to do a little bit of curve, so I'll do the line first. Shave that off. I decide the same thing. See, I got a little bit extra on the sideburn too. I'll just turn to the side and hit that off. All right, after you're done, you're gonna take a look at both sides. They should look the same, nice and symmetrical. Now to the mustache. You can see mine here, and everybody has different types of mustaches. You can grow this out. I kind of like the look when you grow it out, but for me, when I have overgrowth here, it just really bothers me when I'm eating. So uh, this overgrowth here, I just trim right to my lip line. It's amazing how just a nice little trim will make you feel like a whole new man. We're not done yet. We still have to condition and moisten the beard. And I like to use either an oil or a beard butter like this one. This is actually my favorite here. It smells fantastic. Open this up and you just need a little bit. What I like about this product is it's actually gonna moisten the beard and it has a little bit of a hold to it. So with a little bit on your finger, I just rub it into my hands here. Thanks for watching, I appreciate it. If you guys have any beard tips of your own, I'd love to hear them. Uh, so if you drop them in the comments down below. And then if you wanna grab some of your own beard products, look, that's my face. Uh, I did a collaboration with the Moist Collective and I'm gonna leave a link in the description down below where you guys can get these products. See you next time. Yeah.